Six and Six family, we are back here with K Kid, better known as Courtney. What's up? What's up? What's up? Or vice versa. Yeah. Yes. So, Courtney, you've been in the music industry for quite some time, and you've actually transitioned into it full fledged. Mm -hmm. Before we get to that, let's get some background information really quick. What inspired you to get in the music industry to begin with? Uh, my brother, um, he had passed away in 2016. But he was the person who gave me the pen and pad for the first time. Uh, I was in seventh grade. Wow. I'll never forget, I was just chilling, and he was like, yo, here, come rap. And I tried to rap, and I was so bad at it. <laughs> and I just hated, like, being bad at anything. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to keep pushing this, keep pushing. I've just been grinding ever since. It's like 12 years now. I've been wow. just working on my craft. And then last couple years is when I started, like, all right, let's get it. It's time. Yeah, we remember seeing you, like, you know, you're not a stranger to the Thanks for St. Family. Remember seeing you at FIU. Facts. Yeah. And, and I was like, okay, you were filled with all this energy and you were doing your thing. And then I'm like, okay, how's school going? Oh, no, we, we cut we cut loose with that one. Cut ties ah. with that for now. Temporary, though. You Temporary. know, I promised my brother that was the last thing I talked to him about that I was going to finish school. But. Oh, okay, so you have to do that. Yeah. Because you're so close, too. Yeah, I had three classes left to graduate. Ah, what was your major? Computer science. Ah. Minor in, uh, so, but on the flip side of that, what made you say, okay, you know what, I'm going to do this full-fledged and, and put school on pause? Uh, it was around, like, right before my decision. It was, like, at the end of 2016. I was really going through it, like, really going through it. Uh, I was, like, in the stage of, like, I was looking up different things. I was in the stage of, like, psychosis where I was, like, mm. I didn't know what was real, what wasn't anymore. Okay. So, like, nothing felt legit, mm. and I just didn't know what to do. Like, I was trying to do school, but I really wasn't doing it and then um i almost just lost it i was like last thing another thing my brother told me was like yo go into a real studio because i had my own studio in the, in the dorm he's like okay. go to a real studio you're gonna see a difference so i was like nah i ain't about to do all that because you know I'm, I'm, what do you mean you had your own studio in the dorm like I your had, dorm room yeah i bought like i had took a loan i mm -hmm. had a loan surplus after i had paid for school okay and i bought like a mic for 500 mm -hmm. uh interface i had uh, Pro Tools 700, wow. so laptop 1300. We I just put in hella money in and bought my own little thing, so I could record anytime. I okay. Gotta pay nobody. Okay. And but how's the sound quality in that versus? It was I. The only thing was like everything was good, but I just didn't know how to mix and master myself. Mm. So everything I learned, like hella hours. Like, okay. There was nights I wouldn't even sleep trying to learn how to mix and master, but everything was off the head. Ah. So that's what the studio would do. It was somebody who professional knew what they were doing already, ah. and I seen my thing just skyrocket. So, okay. But at that point, um, I went to the studio for the first time in like November, mm -hmm. and that was the great. That was the first time that year that I felt happy. Mm. Literally, I felt like I was saved. Like I felt like a new person. I was like, I can't do school no more because I wasn't happy. And even if I graduated, I wouldn't be happy going out. Like, it would be for everybody else, and that's not how I wanted to be. Ah. You know what I'm saying? Oof. So how did your parents take that? Because I know well, your background, your Caribbean. My mom was tight. My dad was, um, my dad was like, I believe in you. I do whatever you want. My mom nice. was like, what? <laughs> what? And she like, yeah, she was not happy. She's Jamaican, so you're Of know. course. But my dad was Jamaican too, but my dad more leaned back. Ah, your dad understanding the process more. Yeah. So there's no plan B? Nah, I'm all in. Ah. I'm all in. Talk about that. How difficult is it for you to just take that stand and say, this is it. This is what I want to do. Because oftentimes, you know, we're so... We, we have our dreams and we have our aspirations, but then we always say, okay, we need a safety. I mean, yeah, school is not hard, but that's what school was doing. Like, I was putting time into school versus right. time into both, mm. but I was still doing double time. Like, you know what I'm saying? But going full into my, my music, it was actually a lot easier, honestly, in my opinion. Well, would it, would it have been easier for you to, let's say, major in something dealing with music and then pursue your music career? Mm. See, that was a funny thing. Computer science was the closest to it at mm. FIU. Okay. So that's what I was learning how to, like, code and stuff like that, which is, like, the software side of it. Okay. So I was going to do, like, audio engineering was kind of, ah. like, all of But. Uh, which makes, they make great money. But they make a lot of money. My right. uncle does that. And he said. So. Mm. Yeah. So. It's tedious, though. So you're not against the whole school thing? No. Okay. Because um, if someone still a was scam. battling. You know, I still, <laughs> I think still college a is a scam. But, all right. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Why is it a scam? Because I already know you have a whole a song that you freestyle oh, yeah, on that. I have, <laughs> I have a fast for diss track yes. coming soon. Um, nah, I ain't going to say coming soon. I've been saying that for a long time. But <laughs> I have a fast for diss track on my new tape. And for those who don't know what fast for is, oh, gosh, what is it? Yeah. It's like the financial aid. I don't even yeah, know the It's the bad guys, you know, in the college like stuff. Federal, federal assistance. 
student. Oh, that's it's, a good question. I don't it's even... basically loan money for school. Yeah, facts. And so you grants. Get grants, yeah, scholarships, all that yeah. stuff. But it's so difficult. You're, you're always wrong when you go to the lines. I've been to the lines so many times. I've been told, you're good, and then I come back, you're not good. Mm. And then classes drop. Ooh. I start off the semester with Fs. There was only one, one semester that I didn't start off with Fs because mm. my classes got dropped. When I got put back in, I had all zeros. Oh, wow. Yes. Yes. And I didn't was, take that in consideration? Yeah, school isn't hard, so mm. I, it didn't really bother me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, so a lot of us, we're, we're, we're um, I mean, it's two sides of that coin. We're grateful for FAFSA, but at the end of the day, you know that you have to pay FAFSA back. And FAFSA will hound you for the rest of your life, okay? You cannot hide from FAFSA. So when we come back, he's going to talk about the diss track and give us more information about why you felt the need to go ahead and spew out that energy about FAFSA. I'm all for it, though. (laughs) (laughs) We'll be back, Sink to Sink family.